I was oh. just stuffing my face full of shit, so. Oh, okay. Dude, how are you, you going to do that in the middle of a conversation about working out? <laughs> Dude, man, if the mind is ready, then my what? body just I mean, does it. The mind is ready, the body just eats. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? And my mind says it's time to eat, I'm going to eat, you know? What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Isekai Podcast, week five of the spring 2020 season. I'm your host, David, and joining today, we have Stratton. Hello, everyone. Next up, we have Ku. Howdy. Next up, we have Brian. Hello. Next up, we have Taylor. Hello. And finally, we have Sasha. Hello. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, we don't have much news to talk about this week. Um, just wanted to, I guess, list... The confirmed series that have been completed so that they're not going to be delayed. So we got Hamefura, uh, Sing Yesterday for Me, Tower of God, Kaguya, and Kaguya Sama. So, and before those... we continue, oh. quick, quick questions when it says like reported by the animators, uh, what does it actually mean? Uh, um, anything noteworthy because it's not official, it was just by the animators, like they basically just saying well, we did our I job. Didn't, I didn't no, read it, but like I know the anime okay. community said, um, there's a bunch of sh- I think people either tweeted or there's some sort of interview where, like, the producers or directors have said, like, it's completed. So, there's there's an official source mm-hmm. somewhere out there. So, it, these are most likely true. And then, if, and then if they're not, you can riot. These shows aren't worth rioting about. <laughs> so, that's just the only news we'll have. And then we're going to uh, move right on ahead to Tower of God. Um. So, this week... Um, so this is basically like I guess the last part of the the crown the like the bonus game with like the the crown and the throne. Uh, is this this is the one where um, where Akun reveals that he has like those three people in his bag that he was kept in this whole time, and he's brought out random or he's brought them out and just have them like be allies or something. Yeah, so apparently if everyone remembers what he mentioned earlier when he first met Bam, uh, just the fact that he was uh, recruiting allies that had the same mindset as him, apparently that's where they all were. He just stuffed them in his bag, and he just kept them around <laughs> like Pokemon, I guess, in a sense, right? Yeah, I guess. Uh, so I thought that well was pretty said. cool, but I thought that was really weird because yeah. apparently they don't know what's going on in the outside, kind of like they're in stasis when they're in the bag. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what you guys thought about that. It's just really weird because, like, we already know his bag and copy stuff, and now apparently he can also use it as like an infinite storage space too. So his bag's pretty OP. Uh, I'm He's... telling you, it's, it's going to be one of the thirteen, whatever you call them, black uh, the thirteen the weapons. Um, it's got to yeah. be. It's it's way too strong. It can Somebody's... block things. It can absorb them. From what we've seen, he can pull out chocolate bars, make copies of things. You know, it's just uh. But I don't know why they would need to be in stasis. I mean, it's already it already can make a bunch of candy bars. Like, why would you need to just you know, just stay like in a like a what was it in a stasis state? Is it really? Stasis they should make though? a whole. I, I mean, if, it feels like they were in a stasis state because they're not aware of the world outside of them. So I don't know if they were like say in a group, like a void together, or they're each in their own specific void I state. Think... Okay, I mean, it's hard to assume because they don't really say outright, but. When you say stasis, I hmm. I, I, su- I thought you meant like like they were like frozen in time, which I don't think they are. I think they're just like. I mean, it's kind of the bag. same thing, right? When you're just like held in this void, it's kind of the same aspect, I think. Mm. I back up, Koo. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like when I think of yeah. item eggs, I think of item eggs of like the old school RPGs where they're each in like a, a box, right? Yeah. <laughs> like like all the Warcraft <laughs> slots get their own sp- slots, right? And then like when they're in that state. Like everything just freezes around them, and they're not aware of what's going on. So, I mean, yeah, that's that was how I was picturing it. I guess they didn't yeah, confirm anything, so it's I guess it's hard to say. But yep. I still go that for now. And then, um, then they also show too it's how uh, not potential though. Yeah. Uh, th- so instead of Tower of God, you could call it Bag of God. And <laughs> bro, yeah, <laughs> we just show where these guys go. You know, they could go to Seven Eleven, some other good spots. <laughs> I don't think 
Go the I'm H just taking a wild shot in the dark. But... Go, go the H well, maybe Mar- they do. Go H instead. All right, well. I mean, sorry, Dave, cut you off. Bag of what? God. Well, I don't think any of them even like have seen the outside, right? Like, I mean, if they're wanting to see stars, I mean, there's well, a good I chance mean, that they're they haven't seen it. They haven't seen a stuff at all. There's like the town outside the tower, so I think that's like the most outside. Even though like the the sky is fake, so we still don't that's really know dead. much about the world. And then, that's um, true. and then they also show too how like that. So Rachel's team when. Because they were from the other testing area. Um, apparently, they weren't interested in the crown, and we don't know why. And they just started randomly fighting everyone. And it was mainly like the other chick that was fighting. And uh, it was the the and spandex. There was, well, there's the spandex lady, and then like the the one on Rachel's team, the the brown haired girl. And so. Oh, maybe, the one who called the other one an imposter. Yeah. Yeah. The lizard girl. Yeah. Yep. Yo, spandex lady is OP as shit, though. Yeah, dude. She's over here like Jax, just swinging a giant ass club, <laughs> line post nice. and thing, and just beating the shit out of everybody. It legit was Jax. Jesus. But well, I mean, that was before yeah. she. That was before she lost an eye. So we'll see how it goes now. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, remind me for any Metal Gear fans, Gray Fox, Gray Fox. When he comes out. Oh yeah, I was like <laughs> Gray Fox. <sighs> Snake, I got your back. Oh no, I don't. <laughs> so yeah, that she was OP. I was like, where did she come from? Was she just in her own cell? I don't know. I, don't, I think she was uh, with the team. No, I think she was with the team. She was the team with that, with the guy. And, like, I forgot. Oh, I, was it the guy that's like dueling like scimitars and shit? Was it? I don't even remember. It what did you say? Scimitars? Scimitars? Swords? I forgot what, what weapon he had. All right, let's was, go with that. <laughs> there was like, there was one other guy, and I don't even know who the third person on the team was, so it. It just—it was really random how she like yeah, yeah. she just popped out and then started fighting everyone and then and then like Rachel's team was like fighting against them because they weren't interested in the crown for some reason that we haven't figured out yet and then and then like well then and then we figure out that bomb just goes crazy overload with the the Shinsu and just so they were saying that like he he turns into like the energy itself which I assume is because he's I mean he's irregular because of that but like sounds like it reminds me of Ichigo. Basically, he just has like insane strength. He just shoots a bunch, of, like just giant blasts. But like the power came from yeah, himself. Yeah, go Gohan in Dead Zone. Wait, who? Oh, Gohan yeah, yeah. In, in Dead Zone. Yeah. Yep. Oh, this is the most powerful thing I felt. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know what to think. Yeah, I don't do. It just seems like right right now, like it just seems like regulars are just useless because uh, it just seems like Rachel can't do anything either. Well, I mean, I would assume. Well, well, I don't know if you say useless because Bomb was a regular, and he was—he's the one who like he unleashed all that energy, and he was only—he was, he was only stopped by like the the Black March Sword, like spirit. Yeah, I mean, like legit anybody at this point, anybody could kill him if they felt like it. I mean, you got stopped by the sword, but that was about it. Well, I mean, it's fine. He hasn't been training for this forever, like the other people have. I mean, he's walking into this blind. That is true he as well. Nobody has. Yeah, that is true. He's but I mean, like right? not weak. <laughs> I don't know if I wouldn't even really say like he's. I, I wouldn't even say he's ignorant. He's he's just unaware of everything. <laughs> it's called naive. Yeah, it doesn't mean he's, okay. It doesn't mean he's nah, useless. No, nah, that's or ignorant. Weak. We're saying that he's ignorant. Oh, I'm telling you. I'm saying. I'm right. saying he's weak. Same with thing with Rachel. Okay, I mean, they both gonna die. I'm telling you, man. I still got my ending. <laughs> yes, that is a. Uh, <laughs> that is my number one ending. <laughs> Like we didn't see much of Rachel, but I'm pretty sure it's just, like, just hiding her true strength. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be like hidden OP. I mean, I, I don't like think so. Bam's like the hidden OP. Huh? I mean, yeah, he was, but now we saw uh, him at least his power. Rabbit. So, I, I bro, just... that's so unreliable, man. You can't rely on this kid to do shit. He's gonna just get everybody <laughs> fucking killed, dude. Well, I mean, he did like he's a good kid, man. Burn off that that the Spanx lays <laughs> eyes off. So. Yeah, after this dude lost his cool, like, come on, man. <laughs> Plot just twist. Don't... She was already missing that eye. <laughs> yeah. <I'm just> gonna... <laughs> I mean... What was that supposed to be? <laughs> She's like, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> it just tears off a fake eye. Uh, it was all part of her plan. That's right. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It, it... <laughs> so, I would assume that we'll probably, we'll probably see her again. I mean, I, I'm guessing there's like... A... Uh, well, actually, no. She was fighting like everybody, wasn't she? It wasn't yeah. just like the main team. Okay. Yeah. yeah I mean, I'm, I'm still guessing. Yeah, I'm. I'm guessing we'll probably still end up seeing her in that team. 
at some point. Um, All right, I'll make another wild prediction. She's working for, you know, the guy who makes coffee. He has the fancy coffee setup, but then he made instant, instant coffee. coffee. <laughs> uh, <terrible. yeah. laughs> I guarantee you, she's under that guy's bankroll because that guy seems like he's pulling a lot of strings and he's trying to entertain himself. Because if you're sitting in a room meditating the whole day, you're gonna be pretty bored. Dude, if you're so, making instant coffee, man, you don't have money. <laughs> 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 or you're saving so, or you're budgeting pretty hard. That guy, he, I, I think he's a he's a devious, devious guy. Can't Dude. be trusted. So far, my, I mean, like, so far, my favorite character is uh is the Hisoka guy. Like if uh, I first thought, like, I thought like Dude, this guy's gonna be yeah yeah. I, I thought like when I when we first saw him, I thought this guy's gonna be hella evil. But now it's like, I it seems like he's. I think he's gonna be good. Oh, they mentioned uh, they, yeah. they mentioned like too so how like the whole point of the test isn't to like. To weed people out, it's supposed to, it's something like to find all the dangerous people. So again, I think it's yeah, just that was like, an interesting conversation. So I think so, I, I think it's just like it's basically like confirming that like the or, bomb. I don't, I don't know confirming, but like it it seems like the test was meant for bomb instead. That's why they did the whole bonus thing because they had this, this suspicion that yeah. like he's gonna be dangerous to the tower. Well, can't they already tell now that he's dangerous? Because I don't think there's been many people yeah. that can do well, what he just um, did. He would have known if Le Rural didn't like cover up for Bomb for some reason. But wasn't he watching though? I thought they like everybody's watching this test. No, I think it was just Le Rural. Like he was just meant to admin the whole thing and then report whatever he found to that that I guy. Mean, that was drinking the coffee. instant coffee guy. Like the, <laughs> the instant coffee guy is also suspicious, so he could have like also known and hit it too. Yes, the the coffee gave it away. <laughs> All right, wild well, theory time. I think instant coffee guy. Is just shape shifting rabbit guy. I, I guarantee you, rabbit guy is a shape shifter. Dude, the rabbit guy. He, is used, a threat. he oh, used that he pole, that and then that girl had that pole. I think he's giving out these poles. I don't think the same pole. I think it's the same pole. I think the rabbit guy. He has uh, staff. It didn't. He like, has like a pole. staff with like an orb on the top. Yeah. This chick and literally is holding a lamp pole, just yeah. whacking me. It's, it's like it's like Jack's weapon. League. All these all these weapons have been different so far. Like he has he has a sword. The, the lizard girl has like a bamboo a stick. Whip. Yeah, like a little <laughs> <tail. laughs> bamboo stick. That's right. The, the, um, the, the spandex lady has like a staff. It's like a pole. Yeah. Pole. And then, um, and then the rabbit has like the staff. One staff. Yes. Yeah, like a giant. Something it has like an orb at the other guy's though. Yeah, that's where he keeps the soul of all the children yeah. he takes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm calling it right now, okay? Um, Spandex Girl has a very sad story. She was a stripper, and she was an irregular. <laughs> and then, instead of practicing her moves on the pole, she would practice beating people with it <laughs> to she, make herself stronger. <laughs> where is she going to be? Where is she going to strip it? No, it they don't live garbage town. Whatever it's called. That place Sorry, outside the tower? Or the... Or the first, the yeah, Sector Final 7. Phase. It was Final Fantasy reference. Continue. I mean, you see the type of people. You got dinosaurs walking around with three fingers and spears. She had to defend herself. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. That's just messed up. <laughs> Where Brian? Oh, there, there it is. You're, you're all here. Horrible people, by the way. No, you're, you're Link. Yeah, okay. Oh. So, as you can see, that rabbit staff, completely different than uh, the Jack staff. Sure, sure. Uh, anyway, just wait. Point, they're all going to be different items or um, different weapons slash items, like the right. the per or the briefcase. Even though we don't know that's a weapon yet, but it's got. Dude, that's considered a weapon, dude. It's, it's pretty well, OP as it is. Well, it's like, um, well, they made it sound like there was like a. Do you think? Do you guys think there's more than just one series of thirteen weapons, or do you think there's only these like, sp like specific well, thirteen okay, weapons? It depends how 13? long. No, I think there's there's thirteen. Isn't there thirteen? Yeah, there's thirteen. Yeah. What yeah. the I thought it's supposed to represent the months. It is. Yeah, but there's, but there's one ex there's always one extra, so yeah. what the that oh, it, it, represents, it re represents leap year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yes. that's an actual yeah. whole month, dude. Yes. Hey, it's just like all the different animes that try to make themselves uh distinguished by adding a random element. So they can't use the same ones as every other. So they're like fire. Oh, we'll put in steel. Steel's with the elements. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> so you know. That's just the way it works. True. Like sure. Na Naruto and the Cloud Clan. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rain. Man, it's water. Okay, it's water. 
Yeah. So. Yes. But the water's right. probably thick, though, or the rain. I mean. All right, guys. I I think the the big thing in this episode was a major turnoff for me. Blue turtle putting his hair up <laughs> in a bun, or not in a bun, no, in a, yeah, ponytail. Yeah, your uh, thoughts. We have, Taylor, we have your thoughts. thoughts on that, Sasha. This is where we part ways. Ooh, okay. <laughs> you thought it was cute, huh? Shred? <laughs> I'm going to grow all your hair. <laughs> I mean, I'm, we, because of quarantine, I don't have much of a choice. Oh, God. We just see these naked photos of Shred online with a blue band in. <laughs> all right. He's got a briefcase in one hand. I didn't realize it was a bandana. No, I thought it was just like... Uh, Oh, that was like coloring on his hair at first. I didn't realize it was a pantana. I thought he was good, had an earring the whole time. He does have earrings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, but I thought that, that was out, his I earring. Was like, oh. I was like, when he pulled oh, that out of his hair, I was like, what the fuck is a piece of paper just hanging yeah. from his hair? I thought it was like part of his hair. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was like <laughs> some really dark color part of his hair. Like, like a I thing. Just thing. That, that's okay, yeah. But no, it's it just there to like when he gets serious. Yeah, that's a good sign. Yeah. I mean, no, honestly, no one would have suspected it because it looks like a giant toenail growing out of his head. <laughs> I'm going to take it that far. Uh, I legit just thought it was a highlight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why I thought, too. I thought it was a highlight. So yeah. that just threw me off. Yeah. But you know who he looked like? I got a, I don't know how to link in the chat because that's just me. But there's the love interest of... Um, what the hell is his name? Yuki Yu Hakusho, the main love interest. I think her name's Botan. She was like riding a, a broomstick at one point. Looked just like her. And I was like, oh man, the animation looks very similar to her. So he went from being male to female, in my opinion. <laughs> oh damn, I didn't know that was like the main one for Yu Yu Hakusho. It was the, the, the blue... No, Bot the blue. wasn't the main chick. It was... Uh, oh, was she, was, she was just a love interest. She was like oh, a damn. lowly... Yeah. Uh, or was she the love interest? I don't remember. No, she was, just, she was a Grim Reaper. Oh, thank you. She's Damn, I didn't watch it, but uh, Botan would have been my favorite. Thank you, Brian. Yep. No problem, man. Yes, definitely. Oh, nice job with the staff, too. That's what... Oh, yeah. Head on. Dude, what? I'm telling you, that, that guy... Dude, that shape-shift. looks like a fucking paddle or whatever the fuck you call. And when you're rowing boats? What is that? No you're you talking about spandex, girl? Ooh. No, I'm talking about <laughs> whole, whatever this chick named Botan. Oh, Botan, yeah. Oh, it is a paddle. <laughs> hey, paddle room. <laughs> you know what they say. Dude, now that I'm seeing like the, the spandexes girl pole, that's a pretty lame pole. I mean, I does it matter? She's pole. beating her ass yeah. with it, so it doesn't really yeah. fucking matter. Like, the ends look like those, uh, like the ends of like you do with like the, when you get honey, those honeycomb things. Bro, oh. that's like, that's like Whatever saying like Goku's power pole is lame. Bro, it literally expands to the sky. Oh yeah, where where was it in Z know. and uh, in Super? Brian? Listen, he gave it to his child. Where'd it, where'd it child go, Brian? Lost... <laughs> How come they didn't put Ch- it in child abuse? Movie, Brian? Uh, it was lost in the dark dimensions, I guess. Get the hell! I kind of no. think no. if Spandex Girl had a fire girl at the end of those, uh, her pole, it would look like the what the racists had in. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know the race to protest. <laughs> All the, 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 All the white torches. people. The, the tiki missing... torches. <laughs> okay, I missed something. Is it a coincidence that she was white? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay, I want to go right. that far. Right. But... right. <laughs> yeah, we can confirm these claims. <laughs> She's probably. I'm sick of these Asians wearing these crowds. I'm jumping there. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you know what? I have no no comment. <laughs> Come on, Koo, you gotta back me up. I get no comment. I can't say anything. As a white male, no. we need backup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. No comment. Uh, I meant Koo, we need your backup. As you were being a, a white male. Oh hell no! Nope, you guys are on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I helped you white people, I was kicked out of my country, all right? So, uh, Damn, we're going deep here. There. Wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. Some deep lore here, folks. Oh, my God. Too deep for me. Anyways, uh, you know, a good episode. We'll see what yeah. happens. I, I definitely did not expect all this stuff to happen. Rachel, you know, that is Rachel. and We know that. For some reason, I thought she was going to be strong, and she seems to be the complete I, I still think she's, like, hidden. She's, like, hiding her powers, like... Either either that or maybe she's just like uh, Bam and has no clue that she's has something that's str- like that she's actually strong and she's uh, just along for the ride. I think she's 
I think she knows she's strong just because I don't think she would have been climbing the tower if she didn't. Mm, I, I don't know. There seems to be a lot. She of probably people. has like healing properties. I feel like she'd be the one who created bomb or something. Like she don't want to use her powers for violence. That's why she has freckles. She doesn't want to be different. So. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if anything, I think she's probably a princess as well, and then she probably has her own agenda. She just didn't want to get bomb involved in it. I can see that too. Yeah, what's up? How many princesses are there? This is like Genghis Khan's little harem of women. <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah. uh, they didn't explain 13. like the whole system at all. Yeah, this is so. I just assume, fight. I'm I'm gonna guess if there's like 13 weapons, there's got to be like 13 like 13 princesses. 13 princesses. Yeah. Either that. Like yeah, that's yeah. That's it's gotta be like 13 different places or something. Ooh, um, nice. I don't know. That, that's like kind of one thing I actually just kind of thought of right or just right now. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, kind of. Yeah. Anyway, you guys can you guys can keep talking. I well, forgot what I was gonna say. Earlier. I mean, like this is basically this is like the end of like the bonus game. So we're at, what almost halfway through the series. So I, maybe there's one more arc, maybe two. I don't know. Like, I'll wait, how many nice. episodes in total? I think it's like thirteen. So okay. Wait, are you like talking about arcs within the season or like in total of like the this whole season? Season? Oh, this, this season. No, this is not nothing. Yeah. I was to say this shit is long as well. Yeah. So. yeah. I had no idea the chapters were like a hundred pages each. That's insane. Okay. So it doesn't seem like yeah, how many episodes <laughs> is it this season? Like twelve? It's, it's gonna be twelve or 13. thirteen. Yeah. Single uh, season. Uh, I feel like what episode are we on? Six? Five. Five. Sure. That was five. five. Yeah, we just uh, fifth one. I think it's just gonna be like the the preliminary shit for the so that, season. We're never going to be climbing the tower by the end of this first season. Oh, hell no, dude. Okay. Uh, I don't... I have no clue. Um, but, um... What do you guys think of their other, like, the um... I know we, we talked about Rachel and the the other girl that was that was fighting, but what about, like, the giant dude? Like, the, basically, did the, did the rock much? of the group. He yeah, swung yeah his, I don't know. He swung his machete. That man is right useless, over. bro. He can't it's... even stop a spandex lady. To be fair... The giant person is not on speed, and she's like has crazy well, like, speed. He didn't really do much during this episode, so I can't really say much about him. All he did was literally more, block Bam, literally cock blocking Bam, so he wouldn't talk to Rachel. <laughs> and then like, I like, yeah, to stop Spandex Lady. The only thing we know about the team is that like before this bonus game, they were, I think they were like, in a battle royale, and they just like wrecked everyone. And, they like, literally they, murdered like a hundred and ninety-seven people. Like they had like the most like deaths or it kills or whatever or something that I didn't they like kill literally everybody in their previous game maybe yeah something like that <laughs> so that's that's what the rumors say but i think it's bias <laughs> yeah dude it's because like so it could be. so it's like we didn't we didn't really see rachel fight we didn't see the big guy fight we only saw the brown hair girl fight so unless it's all yeah. her carrying the team like i don't know i i, I feel like the whole the, the whole like squad is just like they're just hiding like their their powers did anyone notice that uh, the green lizard chick was holding on to the black march during that end segment? End segment, yeah. I think she was holding on just because um, Bomb was unconscious, and it's I mean, it's technically probably... they lost. So, so I mean, it was a draw. Like, it was a draw. honor rules. Like, I mean, as soon as you step off the podium with the crown, you lose. But so it was like, a draw. If, hmm. if you're using like honor rules then she gets it well i mean she gets i, I assume it's gonna come back to him if anything happens i don't think he's yeah, no honor rules. Yeah. I, if anything like that lizard chick gets murdered brutally somehow <laughs> <laughs> just loot her okay. body and all shit back. I got dark real quick yeah i could see I, that happening I she takes the black you. march puts it between her toes and she's like oh what's this Blah, bam that girl comes out of there <laughs> chokes her to yeah. death Yes. <laughs> yep. Sure. You had me until you said that. So, <laughs> that whole thing. I, I didn't remember that. Like I didn't remember the, the final scene at all. I have. Well, the final scene know. was Rachel coming to um, like Bomb's room and like, yeah, asking for that, yeah. So. Oh yeah, that's right. I saw that, but I don't remember like the lizard person grabbing onto. That was like the, a yeah a or... small part, and like at the at the end after like he. After after the ending. Not after the ending. I'm just saying like at at the end like. Oh. Like basically when he was unconscious. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> Did not remember that scene. She walks into his room, takes off her jacket, reveals the body of a rabbit. I'm head on. Oh man, that would be good. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, does anyone have <laughs> this show would be a bunch of surprises. Does anyone have anything else for this episode, Tara God? 
Uh, no, I don't really think so. All right, so it's uh, yeah. I'll oh, go ahead. Will you guys say something, Shredden? No. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that's so that's it for the bonus game for uh, Tower of God. Um, we're going next to Gleipnir. Um, so this one also started a new. This one started a new arc, basically, but it's uh, they were uh, so Chuichi and um, and uh, Claire. Uh, they are basically walking around the mountain, and they they found. I guess they're they're trying to find like the other hunters to get the coins, and basically find. The worst possible first opponent because he's like this buff like martial artist that wants to test his strength. And he, it's pretty OP. Yeah, and so. he doesn't give a fuck about the coins. Well, actually, no. Even before that, um, they did show the, the scene with um the one one the one girl and then the other guy like fighting in the in the territory. So they were starting to see more of like the fights between like the hunters or, or the gatherers, whatever they're called. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think that female survives because the uh, the monkey guy he was shown in the OP, but I don't think that that girl was shown. Oh, so I don't, I don't remember. Sure. It, I mean, it could go either way. Like either like he kills her, or like or like they reveal that she's stronger than she believes. But like, but uh, because he had, he had like the the gang like where the skull symbol as part of his turf, and we saw that at the end too with that other guy. So. Mm-hmm. So he's probably the ringleader because when the guy was like, "I got friends in places," and that's probably who's referring to. I think maybe yeah. that girl escapes and she meets up with them later on. Like she probably got damaged. I don't think the first guy was the ringleader because um because uh, Claire showed the picture of the phone and they showed like three other guys. I think. Oh. It could have been one of them. Not not that's the guy right. with the 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 with the camera for head. Dude, that's that's just dumb. But like. Well, you know what? I actually yeah. love that scene because that guy in almost any other anime, like Shonen especially, he would have been like a two-episode filler bad guy <laughs> who's like, hey guys, check out my really useless power that I need. I can to zoom in really yeah. far. Yeah, and then what happens? Boom, he's dead within a second. That, but, that's the part about the show that I like is you just get to it, man. You get to the point. But people need security, dude. He's, he's surveillance. Not no, but I'm... I'm just saying that that security scene would have been like two episodes long in any other. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's like, oh, we gotta fight this guy. We don't know his power, but he's really not that strong. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah. In here, he's dead within two seconds. I loved it. Hmm. Yeah, um, I was gonna say too, because uh, because because during this fight, um, I I, don't know, I still felt like Shuichi hesitated again, like because he was trying to make Claire run away. And she had to come back and save him. So, like, I don't know. Like, I'm not. I don't know. I'm like, I don't have like high thoughts on Chewie right now, just because like he's yeah, still actually, like relying heavily on Claire. I thought he was actually like becoming like more of like a. I thought like kind of like the complete opposite. I thought he was actually getting more of like Claire's whole kind of like uh, re- resolve. Like he seemed like he was pretty like a. Uh, well, he he didn't much... want he didn't want to fight though. Like, he, like she, Claire's the one that wants to like go on the go on the offensive, and like Chewie just like. Yeah. But I mean, but then to be fair, it was after he realized that Sanbei was just way too strong and that they stood no chance because they, they really did not I think if Sanbei had a different mentality, he would have definitely just taken him out with no issues. So that's why he yeah, decided yeah. to run for it. I mean, I, I agree that he's not as confident as they made him out to be in the last episode towards the end. But I still think that he's slowly becoming more and more uh, heroic in a sense. Yeah, because I mean, it basically seemed like when they had him like pinned. That he was ready to to kill the guy, it, like, it legit seemed like they were. He was. Uh, he basically like stepped. It was. It was basically like them or him. Yeah. Yep. That's what it really. When he, like. I know it seems like he's not that quote unquote courageous, but just the fact that he was hugging that guy and waiting for her to fire the gun, not knowing what would happen, I think that showed courage. To me, David, I feel like you, I forgot their names, but there was a famous uh, football coach who had a son as a prodigy. And his son was looking so good in college. And then when he came to the league, he was burnt out because his dad was ultra harsh on him. You'd oh. be that guy, man. You'd be like, son, <laughs> you're not courageous enough. Come here. You get 10 lashings. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I definitely think he's starting to step it up. Um, I was afraid. What, what's the guy's name, Ku? Can you, can you tell me? Sambe? Sambe, thank you. I thought he broke Sambe's back like when he shifted back to his human form and then he hugged him much tighter than he should have. Yeah. I, I was like, oh, he's dead. Yep. And then he's like, oh, I'm good, guys. Just a flesh wound. So I'm like, oh, okay. 
Dude, I legit did not see this guy as becoming like an ally. I mean, well, one, he looks evil as fuck. And I thought, like, <laughs> yeah, right. I thought, like, like yeah. legit, like somehow he's gonna die here, like either like uh, giving up his life for for them or something like that. And then uh, complete opposite. And honestly, I'm actually okay with this guy. Yeah, I think I he has a good dynamic. Also, um, they they said like the like their gun is it has like oh, some sort of like it's, it's power. Not, it's it's not a normal gun, is what he said. So. Yeah, but they didn't go any more into depth about the gun though. Did like, they? What, know, what he's implying. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say like like at least yeah, we know it's not a normal gun, so it probably work on like the other gatherers. Like it probably just didn't work on Elena just because she's super OP, not because the gun was like weak or anything. Well, first when he he kept like you know shape shifting in and out, I thought like maybe it was one of those like where it just negates like the 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 monster effect and then basically just it, uh, or like returns him back to normal, but then I think he was just doing that just because I think it was more just to kind of show them his face and just kind of like acknowledge uh, like he acknowledges them, and then um then he because well, yeah, right after that he went back into his like monster form. I think that's his way of if you've earned his respect and trust, then. Yeah. He will show you his face and say, "Okay, you guys are worthy." Because remember, this this guy is your classical archetype of a character who is all about trust and respect. He's like the martial artist guy who goes into MMA and bows and doesn't do trash talk or anything <laughs> like that. Like he sticks to his traditional mindset. And so, once he's found someone worthy of that, he seems to treat them as equals, as opposed to as inferiors or as scum of the earth. Because even he said, he goes, "Clearly, you're." When uh, that freak came out, he goes, yeah, guy, clearly yeah. you're yeah, yeah, you're the scum of the earth, so I'm just going to kill you. I have no problem taking you out. And the guy's like, hey, yeah, boy. Ah. <laughs> God. You summarizes it pretty well, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, oh, shit, he's, uh, it's, uh, continue. Sorry, I just lost it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try to get it back. Um, I mean, other than that, looks like the sh- I, I was afraid this uh, this arc might take things towards a route that uh, would slow down the show. I, uh, who was it? I think it was Ku last time who mentioned how you know typically shows oh, like yeah. this start off hot and then they kind of derail. But I, I gotta say, I'm uh, to Stratton's point. I didn't see this happening, and it held up really well. So I'm very curious to see what's going to happen from here on now. It's still keeping my interest at a very high level. Yeah, from uh, the thing I was gonna say, but from before, uh, um, what's a uh, what's what was like, his name again? Sambe. Uh, Sambe. Um, because he's like uh, another point. Like he's he's not even in the the mountains or the the hills or fields, whatever you want to call them. Mountains, he's not yeah. even there for the coins. He's legit just basically going there because he knows everybody else is going there just to fight them. And he just yep. does not care at all about like the uh, actually collecting the coins. He's basically just to take out other people. I mean, if anything, he's probably most comparable to Rock from Tower of God. Just he just wants to prove his worth and become stronger, mm-hmm. but the strongest. So, I totally enjoy those characters, d- depending on how they're done. And then uh, he doesn't seem to be someone that's like very unique. It's it's very stereotypical, but I do like his character and then, yeah. and the way that they're approaching him. The only, so. the only thing is that like the, I kind of I mean I don't know like I kind of don't like how it's a little too convenient for. For them to like to have such a strong ally right away. That was, I didn't even. Yeah, that, was like, nice. yeah. <laughs> that. that was also something that I mean I would have never expected because he looks evil as hell. <laughs> yeah. and I thought like there's I mean, no way. It's a good yeah, it's a good twist, but like I hope like he doesn't become like their their clutch like in future team fights when they fight against other yeah. gatherers and he's just doing all the work. David, yeah, is he is he the MC? No, but like you never know. He's not getting that spot. <laughs> you never know, man. Yeah. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. They can yeah. always make it dramatic by like having like Chushin cleric always being like these dangerous situations, and then he just shows up and it's like, you know. Oh, I, I don't think they go that makes... route. I think what's yeah. going to happen is he's going to be helpful, but ultimately he'll be a sacrifice when they face someone <laughs> who's way OP, and then they're like they use that to show this other person's strength, and then they have to come up with a new plan on how to defeat that person. I, I think ultimately that's how it's going to play out. No, yeah. I, I think they're just trying to fill out the roles. Like everyone in the party needs like a certain niche to them. Like you got the MC uh, who's sleeper OP, but doesn't have the self-confidence to back stuff up. You have the girl who's like really strong, a strong willed, but she doesn't have the physical prowess to back that up. And then you have this guy who's super strong, but he easily got outsmarted by uh, Shinsui and Claire. So I, I feel like they're just slowly 
adding characters to the party that's going to make them a well balanced team. So okay. I don't think it's anything like that. With uh, mm-hmm. with fair point. fair point. With Shuichi's mo- like you know his monster ability, the whole the whole part of like that makes like his his monster ability strong is because of like you know working together. With uh, that could also go like kind of like to your point with um with Sambe that he's basically like the he's like the brute force. But at the same time, I think it's like more of like they're trying to get it so like they just work as like a like a very well compatible team. I don't know it's he he doesn't go into the into the suit. Or anything, but I also wonder what that would happen if he actually were able to. Just, if he just went into Shuichi's like suit, and just like how much of a one punch uh, scenario that would be, end up being. Uh-huh. No, in his that. demon scyther form. <laughs> <laughs> big, just a big yeah, drop. I think, I think <laughs> that's the limit. Like, okay, I mean, not not in his monster form, guys. Just in his oh, normal form. Nah, nah, bro. That's the only way you could go in. Uh, yeah, <laughs> girls only, <laughs> Girls only. Okay, well, my bad. You don't want to see. Uh, you don't want to see. Uh, that's him, another uh, anime series, sir. Um, dude, I want to see Black Scyther go inside him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. But um, no, I don't know. It's uh, and then going kind of like way back to the part where you like where it's just like kind of like cheap, where he comes in and saves the day. I can see them maybe doing it once, but I don't think they're gonna. Like hopefully over- they, don't, they don't like overuse it. it where yeah, yeah, I don't think they're going to. Like, um, but I, if anything, I would see I would see somehow like Shuichi and them because you know coming more into the clutch like at I'll, some I'll, point. I'll, I'll change my mind with Shuichi. If, like if yeah, if he ends up does like like doing more, like being more proactive in future fights. Yeah, I just don't want him to always. It's just a slow build. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I mean, I, I, I legit think he's already changing because it's, it's it seems like he's actually I, like realizing the situation he's in. I kind of want to see him like fight without like Claire inside him. So like that's what yeah, I'm looking for. I mean, you saw that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he just held the man down. Uh, I feel like he was getting stronger though, because he's actually becoming like more. Uh, uh, I don't know the term, right? It's really... Yeah, well, we can go with that one. Okay, fine. Sexual. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> um, no, when he he's becoming more like uh, resolved. I don't know if that's the word. Where it's just like you know, realizing the situation, mm-hmm. where it's no, it's no more like having to like, oh, I don't want to kill you, even though he did say it against this guy. I think it's more realizing like it's either them or us. True. So, I don't know. Like yeah. honestly, I have no, I have no like issues with Shuichi. Um, even I, I don't think I minded him from the beginning, but uh, I'm, I'm liking him more. Claire, Claire's fine, but I'm liking Sambe. Don't even know this guy, but uh, I'm liking this guy. I don't know. I mean, I still really like Claire, so she's still like. Yep, Claire's my girl. The same out from. Some Sambe generic <laughs> Shuichi, he's I. Right. Yeah, yeah. Claire is a. De- I, it's definitely like a different spin on like Even the though, like like uh, she's, the girl. Like she's like she's so like confident and like sounds like she has so much life experience for a fifteen year old. But whatever, it's anime. I can let it slide. Hey man, her family okay. died. She set her house on fire. That's life experience. <laughs> yeah. Well, her sister um, set her house on fire. So, well, well like what Sasha said, like uh, I think a few episodes back, where it's just basically it's it's a different kind of like MC uh, yeah. for for a fem- for a for a girl, because usually you 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 normally see a girl is like basically being what Shuichi is at the beginning of the show, mm-hmm. and it's I quite mean, opposite. A lot, a lot of shonen shows, it's always the girl there. That it's OP has to like, lean on the yeah, guy. There's a lot of bitch dudes. Yeah, that's why like a lot of anime, it's always the girls that are the best characters. Yeah, some. Yeah, and uh, I just want to mention too that like, because we know from the OP, if, if you guys don't skip it, that like there's a bunch of more hunters, so I expect to see them like in this arc, like coming soon. I guess we just don't, assume, we, well, we just don't know if they're gonna be like on their side or they're gonna be fighting against. They have, they're the ones fighting. Yeah, so. not gonna lie, I skip it. <laughs> that that's good because like, I'm pretty sure like. Like it's it's not gonna be as surprising when we see them just because we saw them in the opening. <laughs> so I watched it like the first two times and then didn't like the opening song, so I just skipped now. <laughs> but that's all I got. Yeah. I mean, this so. is still my favorite show. I have no idea how the how the anime list score is so low. Um, is it really? Yeah, I just saw it today. It's like six point something. That's why. Wow. Trust, that's why you don't trust that website, Shren. Yeah, no. I know, I know, but I just like to get an you idea, always, even like, though you you always bring it up as if you as if you think it matters. It's more of like it's, I gauge the kind of like my like what I yeah, think of you, shows. But it's like you, you bring um, up as if like those people's opinions matter. Um, I everyone matters, people, David. Come yeah, on. most people Not have kind of like, like 
like even like uh like like majority of people like they would have like uh kind of like an idea uh or at least like they they wouldn't get it completely wrong i would usually see like seven if i saw it like as a seven but it's like teetering on like that point but it's just like it's low uh which was kind of shocking to me i mean honestly it's just cause... I thought the manga itself was like very average, so I'm just so surprised you guys are enjoying this much. But I oh, think not six, I so it's just different. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's, it's yeah. a lot different than yeah. other things you watch. Yeah. Yep. Maybe it's the, uh, the past two seasons has made us have lower standards or well, something. I, just, I honestly I, <laughs> thirst. <laughs> that's definitely me. But I honestly we've been wouldn't watching be anime for years. Too. Really... We gotta get used to this. I, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be shocked if it was uh, maybe people that were like that didn't like. Um, etchies like etchiness because I know like a lot of like if people see like an etchy scene is just immediately turn off and then just immediately think it's trash and I could see I don't know uh, I, don't, I don't think that's maybe. it I don't know let's just... I'll get some comments see what people are saying um, when um, when you guys are talking to one of your shows I mean in all honesty not. it's probably because they just can't deal with the etchiness because from the looks of it a lot of the I don't want to say like the new generation, but it feels like everyone seems to be a lot more easily offended by certain yep. things. Like if they don't like things a certain way, they're just going to straight up like hate on it until they get what they want. Kind of like with uh, with like like Tifa in Final Fantasy Seven. Oh, she's too sexy. She's dressed too slutty. Blah blah blah. Who says that? There's Dude, a lot of people online that are saying yeah. Like that. I, yeah, I think you're overblowing it. Like I don't. No, but uh, that, I mean, there's but, always those people. But it's not, yeah, there's it's always not those just, people. Again, that's just like act, one example. But they're like a loud minority, like, though. You can't really like say like they represent a, a popular opinion or anything. No, but it's becoming more and more popular compared yeah. to like back yeah. then. Like, I don't see Look why this Laura is... Croft, dude. Yeah, <laughs> but like back then, it didn't blow up as much because I guess uh, social media wasn't such a big thing. Yeah, back that's then. a problem. Like, that's you're using social well, media that, as wasn't... like as a data point when. Well, that, that wasn't like the new. That wasn't like the new movement or anything like that. It's like basically like, equality and everything else. I, I, don't know. <clears throat> I think I think you're, I think you're over conflating a vocal minority on social media. There's still there's I mean, like there's still gonna be those there's still those. I like, guess always those people, people but I don't think people. they're as. I don't think they're as big as a group as you think. I think it's just like they just make a lot of noise. I mean, again, these are probably the same people who are coming onto these review sites and then well, giving the that's, same review. That's why you don't trust these review sites. Like, no, but that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe that's where they the don't represent guys like the reviews. majority. Right. So, like, you can't like take a lot of, like their opinion seriously. So, sure. Uh, I don't know. That's I I that's why again with Miami list. Like, I don't. Like trust, I don't like going off any of their metrics because it's like you don't want to trust what the audience says. Um, you should still take with a grain of salt, though. I believe. Yeah, there's usually like oh, I always, I will still yeah, always think like, like, like uh, the tiniest grain of salt. Like, I still think like you know like the like the like the insane people will always like kind of like a uh, kind of like settle somewhere in the middle. Usually, that's that's kind of like what I think because it's uh, uh, I don't know. That's how like I've always that kinda, later. Yeah. That's why there's always like shows that are basically like, right in the middle. Um but uh I'm I'll just read some kind of of the people whose low scores just kind of what their complaints are. <clears throat> well, okay, like never mind. Like we can get into that later. Like um we'll Yeah, just... first basically first low score is basically some guy talking about itchiness. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll 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 get into that later. But um so does anyone else any, does anyone have anything else for Gleipnir? No, not that it's basically right. still like my number one show that I'm watching this this season. All right, so we're just gonna end it there. Um, that's gonna be it for Glaipnir. Um, we're just gonna move on to um Hanefura or the ultimate game with Mister and Taylor. Um, this episode uh, um it's basically just more just showing more of the uh the Maria and Katarina pairing, I guess like more backstory into maria and i guess why she's like the protagonist just because it's always like it's always the main character getting bullied and being Dude, more gardening <laughs> oh yeah more gardening, more gardening. <laughs> when she visit the house um they didn't feel like nothing really like compared to other episodes nothing really happened in this one besides just the backstory yeah. of maria i forgot how <laughs> how how uh how uh weak her like the her, the mc's her, her, her magic is. Oof. Her, her earth power yeah. where it's just a slight bump it got I the know. job done yeah 
Yes, some somehow. Oh, like how legit it's, it's called Earth Bump too. It's not like you know, like the, where they have like the, even like that debated name. She could have like such an epic name, and she just legit just calls it Earth Bump. <laughs> but she also on that event too. It also stole like a major game event from um, Keith trying to save Maria. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would assume at this point that that root's just dead because it, hasn't he? Because hasn't I mean, she like changed some of his? His things with with her, or maybe just in general. I, I couldn't. She, I mean, the first last episode, she stole the event from Gerardo, and now she stole the event from Keith. And she still thinks that yeah. she, she still thinks that like, um, that it's gonna go the way the game is, where like the just because Maria's the main character, she picks one. Um, she picks like one. Uh, like just one, one, one route, and then like, like Kyrie's are automatically screwed. Like, I don't know. Like it was kind of funny at first, but now it's it's kind of it's starting to get like a little old that she's not realizing what's going on. So, uh, I'm just assuming that's gonna be like the main thing of this. Like a lot of them, like the the main MC is always just completely unaware. Yeah. Uh, but I I'm actually like liking the show more and more. Um, this. I, I wouldn't say this episode, but the previous episode was probably my favorite. Um, this one, it's, I guess it's like, I don't know, like with like how the story is like changing now, it's instead of like these death flags and stuff, it's legit. Like I was uh, talking to Taylor today. I was like, there's gotta be some sort of villain at some point in the show that that's going to kind of, uh, kind of rise above everything else. Like there's gotta be a new villain. It doesn't have to be it's just, just everyone just but, fighting, fighting over her. And then it's about, yeah, real. But- yeah, but you would assume like somebody's got to become a villain, and, like when this giant group of people, how about, how like, about they're all villains. <laughs> God, and just, they all just turn on her. It's like, well, not no, not, nobody, like, no, not turn on her. I'm just saying, like, because they're all trying to get get her love, like they just turn on each other. And, cause, oh, like, right, right. Yeah, I yeah. Know. I can see. Yeah, I can I see something like that too. I don't know. The way that I've seen shows like this go before is that like you have these episodes like what we just had with Maria. Uh, where you learn a little bit more backstory, the main character, or in this case, Katarina, gets closer to her. And then they'll, like, cycle through all the other characters, because we've been briefly introduced to them and as, like, kids. But now we're going to go through them again, probably. And then there'll be somebody that, like, some bad villain type of person that comes in, like, at the very end. That's how I've always seen these types of shows go. Yeah. It's just throwing... So I would agree with oh. Stratton on that. Yeah. It's just throwing me off, just because like they, I guess yeah, they keep making it sounds like, like the twist on like on the show is that like, is she's supposed to be the the villainess, but she's the main character. So I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I don't see. I just I kind of don't see. I didn't. Well, I, I didn't think about that at first that they would like introduce a new villain to replace her, but I guess it could happen. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm using the term villain really. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> that, that's that's the Some term. That's, sort of that's the term blockade. that they use. That's why we have to, we we're used to using it. So yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, but, uh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. You. No. Go, go, go. Uh, well, I I forgot what I was gonna say. Just go ahead. Uh. Okay. Um. <laughs> fast. Okay. So. Fast. <laughs> I'm hoping. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting my hopes up thinking of maybe next episode. Well, she'll finally start realizing that like that Maria is not like destined to to pick someone and like and just screw her over. I don't know. Like, eh, probably not. She seems to be pretty tunneled on this. Or maybe it's just like I just like even though it did focus on Maria, I just it just I just didn't really care much about her backstory as much. Like I'd rather have her at school. I guess I guess I I really only care when the show is about Katarina. I don't really, I didn't really care much about Maria as much. So it, at least I got kind of like the backstory out like this, like it's done um, with Maria, just kind of like what she's kind of grown up with and what like you know kind of what's been going on with her. So I'm hoping they don't really cover too much more of that. That's uh, I mean. I, I would you would assume at some point because it's just like because she was so worried about like doing all these death flags and stuff. It seems like in a in a way like they're all getting kind of they're, they're all calming down or they're already gone, because uh, yeah. well, even 
basically she just stopped right here. Like, I don't think any death flags would happen. Because I think she basically covered everything already. I mean, even like in her council, she even realized too. Like, she realized that she stopped two of the game events. and she's, But she, she still thinks that like, she's going to get screwed over. I guess it's like yeah. just being like, she's just try- trying to be cautious. But like. It's going to be the red hair dude. The red hair dude's going to be the evil guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, they finally mentioned that like, he was just a side character in the game. Like, he didn't have a major role, but. Yeah, it sounds like he's gonna be like important later, just because like there's this, this this unnatural focus on him. So oh, yeah, I'm... I know. In two or three episodes now, she's like said the exact same sentence in a row, where she's like, "I don't see Maria or the student council president very much outside of the student council." Like she keeps saying that, and I'm like, "Okay, what happens when you see him out of there? Obviously, something's going to happen." And he's what was he the number one student in the school yeah. for his grades? Well, I don't yeah. know if he was number. One. Was he? I think he. I can't remember if he beat Gerardo. I know he beat Alan, but I don't remember if he yeah. beat Gerardo. And then I don't know. Uh, like, go ahead. I was say, I just and then like before Katarina left, she says, "Oh, I like your tea. It has a very gentle flavor. It's like another one added to the harm." Um. Uh, okay. Well, I wouldn't say yet. <laughs> I don't think he's in the harm yet. But it's like trending that way. But at the same time, it's just like. There's so many people in this harem already. There's got to be, like, some sort of, like... Not even if they technically, like... Like how you were saying earlier, like, we're, you know, like, a villain. But just take, like, a role that's similar to it. Or what we see as, like, a villain. Or, like, the... You think that'd be one of the people? Kind of like, derail someone? One of the characters already? Um, or say God, a new I mean, person shows up? Honestly, I mean, from what I've seen... Like, from right now, I would assume it... Like, if, if there were to be, like, a villain that just arises... Either, like, I would take your point where you say, like... Like, like where they would just kind of, like, all fight each other... Or it's gonna be the red hair guy because they don't have anybody else yet. Yeah. So, so those two options are somebody we haven't seen yet. Okay. Which it's when like, you said villain. I, I, when you said villain. Like, when, you, well, when you said villain, like I assume villainous. So I, I thought I thought that was gonna be a chick that like, oh. that comes in and like just like takes all the guys. But it, not when you say the red hair student council president, like it actually makes more sense that way too. So. Yeah, I didn't even think of a female actually. Yeah. Because, like, because Kenny is supposed to be the villainess, so I assume, like, some yeah. other girl would take her place, but... I I, maybe the I, other... I mean, I don't know. I kind of hope it doesn't, because, like, we haven't seen any of it, so, it, like, it does, it's, it's got to feel like it came out of nowhere. Maybe the other... I mean, maybe with the other royals, like, of the the, the, the girls, the other royal girls, maybe they come... uh royal just, girls? Like, an uprise. The ones that are always bullying... Uh, um I mean, noble? Yeah, the noble. Sorry, what did I say? Royal. royal. <laughs> um... Yeah, the, the the nobles that were the ones that were always bullying yeah. her, and then you know she's not a part of it anymore, so they could just be like the I the, the villains. I mean, yeah, they're the closest ones they have out. to villains, but like they don't, you don't even have a name for them. So I just feel like they're just throwaway characters. So. The nobles or the where did I say the nobles, royals? Yeah, I just feel the like a throwaway. I don't. Yeah. The legit, I would think of them as I, I would think of them as um. As a throwaways as well, because legit, they're not doing any. They're not worrying about Anyways. any kind of backstory. They just throw them in there, and then, I mean, come on, she got tripped up by a by a, by the by the Air earth bump. bump. You're, you're, you 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 can't. Yeah, come she back was caught that. by surprise, right? Sure, we'll go with that. Also, Stran, again, you need to increase your knowledge of aristocracy. Yeah. Yes, I know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll. Uh, that's why I, I throw the terms like royals around. <laughs> yes. But I mean, overall, I'm still enjoying the show. I just thought, I don't know, I just didn't wasn't, I didn't really enjoy this so as much because like I, yeah, I just. But the I, gardening, I, David. The gardening. Yeah, but the main focus was Maria, and like I just I didn't really care about her backstory as much. I just I only care about Katarina. So see, I would have maybe cared about her backstory more if if it wasn't just a typical backstory. <laughs> well, I mean, it's. But it's, again, it is a typical. It's a, it's a uh, dating sim, so yeah, it's like so. it, it fits <laughs> the mold of like. Yeah. Yeah. Generic. So it, generic. So, you gotta be the blank slate. You got to pretend yeah. you're the main character when you're playing this yeah. dating sim, friend. You, so I don't know what I was expecting. You gotta it, pretend it, you're it, a, a bullied normal girl who has four hot yeah. guys after her. Or that's the life you want, friend. No, but she's considered a commoner, though. Yeah. But she's being bullied by by the nobles, no, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so what's yeah. weird about that, friend? You know, it's apparently it's just a common thing. Yeah. What's so weird about that? <laughs> it's called classism. Yeah, but no, I mean, but basically, it was it basically was like like how you said, just a typical backstory. Yeah. 
So yeah. that's just that's yeah. So I'm yeah enjoying this, but I want I just want to see more Katarina and hopefully well. hopefully she starts like realizing some stuff. But maybe I shouldn't get my hopes up. Yeah, it's whatever. I mean, it was like gamers. Gamers had no clue. All right. Is there anything else you guys wanted to say? Oh. Nothing. This is my second favorite. It's like it's like the show that I like more, like right behind uh, Gleipnir. You should start reading some of the Ultimate manga after this. Dude, my my manga list is so long. Uh, there's a lot of other things I'd rather read. So. All right. So, that's gonna be it's it for Hane for ha, Hame for uh, my life as a villainess. Yeah. Hopefully, we know what you mean. And then so we're gonna go next to Kaguya-sama um, with me and Ku. Um, I just gotta say, this episode was really good. I laughed so hard. At, Don't uh, lie to me, dude. Dude, no, it was um, really good. Like, oh, that was, that was yeah, like... I was I I was laughing hard. Like, um, like that middle section when um when, uh, like when Shirogane was trying to ask Kaguya to be like his campaign speech, and then it just blew up into like the whole school finding out, and he was like freaking out about. Everyone thinking it was a confession. Like I, don't know, I, I really enjoyed that part. Um. Well, like for me, like I, I did enjoy it, but I mean, it wasn't. Um. I kind of was kind of knew what was to be expected already, so I guess maybe that's why I didn't find it as enjoyable as the other parts. Like I liked the second half of this episode more than the first half, to be honest. Yeah. With the part with the other new girl. Yeah, the fact that. Um, at first, it was like, oh, it's some annoying, like, first year who thinks she's, like, on top of the world, like, she's better than everyone else. And, yeah, you know, she has academics to back it up. You know, she, her, she comes from a noble background or a prestigious family. Um, and then I was like, okay, you know, like, it, it's a stereotypical uh, female. And then she started saying about how amazing Chica was. And then that's oh when I just kind of, like, lost it. <laughs> oh, that was more, I was like, that was, like, more funny when, um like, Ashurgani, he was so cocky because, like, because the first part he says like, oh, like we gotta take every every candidate, we gotta take every opponent seriously. You know, you can't let your guard down. And then in his mind, saying, "Who am I kidding? I'm super popular. There's no, <laughs> there's no way I'm losing. I got this in the peg." So yeah, then, no, I mean that's fine too. But and then uh, like, again, I, and then yeah. him and Ishigami, like they were like, <laughs> it was just being like arrogant assholes to her, like, like on their high horse, like on top of that, like that that rock in the image, and she gets like. You guys, you look like villains. You gotta stop. Yeah, like I can expect that from Ishigami, right? Because that's why, like, no one, like, especially the females, don't like the guy. But I didn't really expect that from the president. But yeah, I don't know. I think just the fact that Chica was finally getting some, some, some praise from someone else that I thought that was pretty funny. And then the mm-hmm. fact that, like, she was a, a mess. She's actually apparently very smart too. Apparently, she can speak six different languages. And I don't know if she's still good at the piano or not but oh, she was a like, champion i mean when they said that like it, it kind of like they were like it felt like um the other girl miko like was like kind of overhyping her because like she said like oh she won the piano competition and she goes like oh that was fifth grade or yeah which grade. was fourth grade yeah and then so the five languages sure that's good but then like and then she says like um she has average like well because you know this school is like really good so it's probably like academic intensive and she says she has average grades in this you know, really hard school, and then she was like, "Oh, it's only average." Because I think she has she compared herself to Kaguya and the president, who are like probably the top tier students in this yeah, already, maybe, like, already like strict school. Yeah, I thought Chico was maybe was a lot better than she was letting off others to know. But uh, like the more the more praises she tried to give Chica, like the worse she made Chica sound. Yeah. So I thought that I was think, pretty funny too. I, I think it's just like the image. It's like the the disconnect between like the image that people have chica and like what she really is she's just like a normal like ditzy girl really yeah like, like it makes like you wonder it, like if that's how everyone sees her or just like the student council that sees no, chica that no, way because the student council i think because they hang out with her so much they know the real her that's why ishigami and shirogane was freaking out so much whereas like the the the, the freshmen like they thought highly of her because like they just they only know about her reputation and not who she actually was so yeah, I mean, maybe they also have some past with each other because then uh, she did mention that she was following Chica from like a young age. So yeah, I, um, I mean, I, I, I assume she know more. I didn't think much about it because she just only said that, um, she saw her piano recital when she was younger. But maybe, yeah, yeah. So. But I mean, other than that, though, I don't really like the two new additional girls just because I don't feel like they add anything to it. Like to already, they already feel super annoying. But 
I mean, I suppose you got to have the, that that certain character cast in this as well, right? The glasses girl, like, she was pretty forgettable because she didn't really say much. I'm pretty sure Miko, like, she's in the opening, isn't she? Uh, I'd say so, yeah. Yeah, so she's probably got to join the spoon count. Like, she's probably got... So because the opening spoiled, she's probably got to lose the lecture then probably join the student council as, like, as someone, as, like, you know, a member, and then they're probably, like, getting the fights or something. Yeah, I think as long as she's with Chica, I don't think she really cares. Mm -hmm. And then they both give us this, like, prune uh, yeah. personality. So, I mean, I don't know. She's I like, don't really like the addition of these casts, but... She's, like, the super, like, serious, studious type of student. So, like... Yeah, and then, like, the poster she was giving out to people, it's like, yeah, she's totally not going to win this student yeah. council election. <laughs> you can totally tell she's going to lose yeah. already. And, um, I don't know why I was so caught up in the fact that, like, like the narrator, like, had to mention she was 147 centimeters. I was like, damn. Like, I know, like, I know, like, Japanese and Asian girls are short, but damn. <laughs> They're still, like, that short? <laughs> I mean, she's still, what, 14, 15? She's got, you know, Time to grow, I guess, uh, right? I guess, mm. even though most girls are done like by 15, 16, but still. That's all right. I mean, they're, they're, there's there's people of all kinds out yeah. there. So oh, I mean, no, I know cool. plenty of like girls who are like that height too. So it's just, it's, it, I guess maybe it's like the fact that she, she felt like she has to like speak louder because she's so, she's so small. <laughs> so I get, you get people to pay attention to you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, I want to know. I'm I'm pretty tough for an Asian, so <clears throat> you know, I I got it good. <laughs> uh, but I mean, yeah, that's that's all I have for yeah. this episode. Like like the first the first half, I I mean, I I, saw, I enjoyed yeah. the episode, but it it didn't really stand out to me, well, especially just like for more more people. It stood out just was like, um, more, there's more of a I think there's a growing fan base for Hayasaka. So, oh yeah, and like and then, um, it's it, I kind of do like like they. I don't know, like, it's kind of nice seeing, like, the different personalities that she can take and how... It was more... It kind of funny, too, how she was so pissed at Kaguya, like, like calling her out, saying, like, you couldn't do this, or whatever, blah, blah, And then she took off her bluff, and Kaguya was, like, was getting, like, desperate. It's like, you know, <laughs> just stop. Yeah. You know, you've done enough. See, uh, I don't know. I mean, like, I, I did... I can't admit that that was, like, a cute side door that we haven't seen before, right? Or I haven't I don't remember seeing about her, but yeah, with the whole Kaguya and then uh, the president, I was like, oh, I already know how this is going to go. Like, it wasn't anything new. I didn't expect anything crazy to happen. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It didn't hit me as hard. I don't know. I don't know. I, just that middle part with the with like the whole school finding out and like the rumors spreading. I don't know. I thought that was really funny. Just the whole misunderstanding and how it, like Chigani was so like he was so taken back by like, the whole school. Yeah, I was expecting like a different way for him to get out of it, you know, like well, something and then he, more. And then he chicken out the end, which is, kind of, I don't know, it's kind of yeah. lame, but also kind of funny. Like, I mean, like you knew that it wasn't going to turn out that way, where he was going to yeah. admit his crush. Otherwise, the show was pretty much over. Right? There's yeah. no more premise. But yeah, I was expecting for something more original for as for ways that the outcome would have been. But I don't. Know. I mean, there's I, still there's still more time, I guess. I guess I I, I, I really enjoyed the episode, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's all I had for it, though. Yeah, it's hard to talk about the show just because, like, I mean, it's still mainly a comedy, so just. But still really enjoying it. Um, I guess we can compare the seasons later on, but yeah. So. Yeah, especially since there's really not much to talk about, right? A lot of shows are on delay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. What should have been, but. That's gonna be it for um, Kaguya Sama. Um, we're gonna move on next to uh, Sing Yesterday for me. Um, so this episode it, it introduces so it introduces um, her former classmate from from high school that he had a crush on, and this was really like, bro, like, the feels. Oh my god! And his name is Minato. Oh man, wait, what, even more feels. Wait, what's, what's Minato <laughs> gotta do with it? From uh, if, if you're a Naruto fan, you'll. You'll understand. Is that is that, but, is that, is that um, Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's like dude, it's uh, it's always a sad whenever there's a character named Minato, Minato. there's like a sad story just waiting okay. to happen. Dude, I felt for this guy so hard. Was, he had everything going for him, but he's suffering from depression. He doesn't know what he's doing. And then like there was a girl he was crushing on and he sees her after all this time, but she's crushing on someone else. And it's like like you know, like 
yeah. Oh, this the series is so relatable. Oh, oh god. So when I first saw him, like in the episode, I was like, okay, is this gonna be like, another character that you're randomly introduced? But then like it really, this whole episode was just just on him. I guess him and Haru, and so I'd say it's more on focus on Haru, just like how. Just a different thing. Yeah, a little bit of both, through. like just character development, you know. But like, I, I really thought he was gonna be a new character that we have to get used to, but no, he was just like one and done, basically. So that was interesting how this episode, like, how they. I mean, it's still early on enough to where he he can probably make a comeback towards the end, I guess. But yeah, I imagine that when he was but coming he, in, a love square, it would have been a love pentagon, I guess. Pentagon. <laughs> well, right. The way they made it sound, it made it sound like he was just leaving for good because he wanted to go overseas to shoot more documentary pictures because he's quitting college yep. so right also yeah no he's going to us yeah also like it's weird because i think are they are they skipping time like faster now because it said because it said he was a second year in college and he's class he was classmates with haru so he she should be around 19 um, 20 now see yeah that's the thing i was confused about too i don't know if either they're doing like a time lapse or maybe um because I know, I know for They're, sure. Like maybe, maybe the subtitles were just wrong. Like they weren't translated properly in the beginning. I don't think but they yeah, something like something weird. like like what year you're in college should be easy to translate. But I don't know. I'll have to look at that. But I know for sure. Episode three, Haru, like when she was on like that motor that moped and she was in the traffic light, she told she told um Riku that she was eighteen. And then yep. this episode, she's she's the same. She has to be nineteen right now, nineteen or like almost twenty. If like that guy is like a second year in college, so I mean, if anything, it was probably like he just started the second year, I guess. And so then I guess she's like she's starting at closer to nineteen then, but I just I'm yeah, just probably like, like the, nineteen twenty. But it's like the time. It's like she's episode three. She was eighteen, so it's like are they skipping through time here, like? Or, oh, well, uh, we... I remember uh, Shinako did make a reference to the season, so I don't think maybe a year has passed, but maybe like half a year. They're and in the fall, was... I'm pretty sure, yeah, because... Right, and then the last time that we left off on them was when it was, what, spring, right? Because that's when she went back to uh, her old hometown to like uh, like pack up the house, whatever, and then like there was a cherry blossom that was... Um, I remember was cherry blossom in the, in the back flashback. I don't remember... In the... It was in the present, but I can't remember yeah. that. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. The, the the time frame is a little. It's a little iffy or a little weird. That's but yeah, yeah I, but I don't know. I guess like going back though, like this episode was mainly focused on Minato and Haru, so it kind of like, and then there's like the, the tension between when like when Haru and Riku see each other with like Minato and then Shinako, like like ops of each other. Yeah, I was so. expecting something a little spicy to happen, you know, maybe something. In well, the, they they both like they off. they both like so non confrontational. They just like they just ran away. It's it's a peace, you know. So yeah, I mean, it kind of makes you feel like they're setting up for Haru and uh, Riku to get together. It does feel like the way because like, yeah, because and that's like the only other thing is like maybe later like they'll still like try to push Chinako, but it seems like Chinako's still not over like um you so I, I feel like she's she's uh like i want to say like she's making good progress just from the comments that she was making when she was walking back it's... i don't know if it's because she was drunk but <laughs> uh the comments that she made made it seem like she's slowly progressing forward you know it's still weird how um how she's still trying to be friends with Rick Re- you know like they like she he clearly said like he, i can't be friends with you and like they're still i mean i guess they're at a drinking party or they're college friends so i guess like Yep. Maybe that's like the extent of their friendship. They're not like actually meeting each other or anything. Like they don't hang I mean, out. They don't. All, they don't hang out unless it's like with mutual friends. But yeah, I mean, all in all, they they still have that that history with each other. So if it's with the college, like you know, old college buddies yeah. going out for drinks, and they're not by themselves, I think it's fine. I guess there's that. Just like it just it's so it was weird. Cause I just remember like just the cu- first couple episodes where Riku was just it felt he felt so strong. And, like I can't be friends with you. So, no, I mean, just the fact that he went to a college hangout when he didn't want to in like the very first episode, I thought that was kind of weird too. But I, I guess they're trying to show that that they both have matured and they're trying to like move past that. So maybe they're trying to secure. Like, maybe it's the fact that they just like. I don't well, know. I mean, I mean, you think about it, right? They're they 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 were hanging out as friends. They're drinking together. Like Riku's not doing any like not making any moves towards uh, Shinako even when she's drunk. 
And then, uh, like I said, Rick Cool didn't want to go to any college like reunions, but he did in this episode, and he seemed to have had fun, I or guess. he was yeah. being very sociable. Yeah. And then this also shows that since he has another part time job, he's actually. Uh, like he actually has a goal to reach towards. Although in this episode, it looks like he just wanted to get another job to buy another camera. I'm I'm guessing. Hmm. Uh, but but it, mean, it does show that they're slowly progressing forward. Okay, yeah. It was hard for me to, to say just because like we didn't see the details. But going by what you say, like it does make sense. And then I didn't even think about that for the second job. Like I just I just thought like he just needed money randomly just because like you know he can't get much for just working at a convenience store. But... For that wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> God. her size is 15 by the way yeah but um yeah i mean i don't know. any other country if a girl is this for it it's a complete turn off but i guess japanese people just make it wait what do you so... mean turn off like like when when a girl is this forward towards a guy like constantly just badgering him it's like hey you know like we should totally go out we should totally do this uh hey you know my rings blah 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 right oh uh, well, i mean like, like she's really she's really forward and aggressive i mean that's well, that's Haru. That's like in Japan, they're not the girls aren't that forward. It's also like usually the guys have to be that does most of the work. So yeah, yep. But so, yeah, only so only Japan or only in anime, I guess. No, no, it's, only anime yeah. because like like you would never see, like she's the exception. Like you would never see Japanese girls be this forward. Man, I don't know. Maybe Japanese girls are thirsty too, dude. I no, don't know. No. <laughs> once i see them uh that's like opposite like because they're so that's, that's, uh, because then that's like they, they get like slut shamed because you're not supposed to be forward like you're supposed to yeah make the guy come to you i feel like in any culture once you don't care anymore you don't really care yeah well, in japan right? there's more the the culture of like of like worrying about like what, what other people think about you so uh it's a new generation david <clears throat> well this is the 90s anymore so. But but this anime is out. And in even you say new generation, there's still like a lot of traditional thinking in Japan. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can't really say. I and haven't like, really. And been also like the, the group stuff. the group culture there. It's like still it's still different than like our in our American culture. So, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, the last time I was in Japan was back in 2007, and I can still get that vibe where like any PDA or any kind of like out of the social norm was kind of unacceptable by the others, but. I mean, I'd imagine by now they've they've become more open to I other mean, possibilities. A little, open, I'd imagine, sure, but like, I don't know. It's it's hard to change. So, uh, yeah, that's true. But I mean, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's all just speculation, honestly. Yeah. So, but um, yeah. I was gonna say uh, too about just Haru. Um, yeah, it's just. I mean, I I felt more bad for Haru at the end when like when because like she you you could tell she felt really bad about re rejecting renato because like because that's she had to like say the whole thing about how she hates Rikuo and she doesn't like being like the backup and she wishes she could just move on but she can't and that's why she felt really bad about rejecting renato because she knows she's she knows she's doing the same thing to him so when you see all the red flags and you continue to go for it anyways and then five years from now you ask yourself where did you go wrong and it's like ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. but just... yeah i mean right because basically like she's in love she doesn't know why she doesn't know how and she just doesn't want to give up and I, like i guess as a younger person that's just all you have to go off on so none of your decisions will ever really make sense so i guess it's to be expected with this yeah but i felt i just felt like that by the end of the episode we really developed her character like like you just I, don't know. I just felt more i just i felt definitely felt more empathy for her i mean even though like she was already like a, a fan favorite like it just felt it just like basically made her character even like even stronger just like nope i hated her minato deserved the chance oh, rip, rip minato rip yeah. minato man you can't force these relationships on people man no, but then I don't like I said, maybe it's because I just relate to the guy, but man, his character in this one episode made me feel so much for the guy well, because the he was, a, too, he was like, a genuinely good guy, but yeah, but the thing is, like, he's like, he doesn't even like the only reason why he even liked her just because, like, that one time, like in high school, where she just like noticed his picture and that's it, they don't really have that much stronger connection, and like, they don't even like, they're not even like. Like even in conversations, not even like talking naturally to each other, it just feels really stiff. Like, like there's like a, that distance I mean, between them compared. 
compared to, to be like, fair, Mikuo and Haru. To be fair, Minato to Haru is kind of like Haru to Riku, if you really think about it. Yeah. Right. So why is it that you have, why is it that Haru can do to Riku, but why is it that when Minato does to Haru it doesn't like it's not well, as effective or as but I think it's just because of that double standard. Because it's a, a girl, like it's more acceptable. No, but because, because it's a guy, it's like it's whatever. I don't care. Because know? he, uh, Minato is so much more stiff and like he's he's like not good conversation with Haru. Where like where Haru is very like outgoing and like and very like playful towards Rikuo, so it feels more natural. Whereas like Minato just feels very stiff. Like, I mean, he doesn't feel stiff at all. He. He 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 is somewhat. Uh, he's 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 he comes off as a pretentious artist. No, no, but but what I'm saying is he, he's somewhat assertive, right? He's not like overly aggressive, but he's as as Haru, but he is somewhat assertive. He gets his feelings and points a- across. Um, and like I know that back in high school, he, he was kind of like a like a quiet like cameraman or whatever. He didn't really talk much. But now that you know he's all grown up and he sees her again, you know he's laying his his feelings on the line. He is actually talking to her and try to like put in the effort to get to know her more. And I feel like with the relation, I know it's one way, but I can easily compare this to his feelings for Haru to be the same as Haru's for uh, Riku. And like for me, it just kind of sucks that uh, like they didn't work out just because I feel like uh, like Minato deserved Haru more in this situation, just because he actually cares and Riku doesn't really care at all. I mean, you say like more sort of, but like the when he was walking home, like Haru from like her part time jobs, it just it just felt like very, very stiff. Still, like, like they like, like they weren't cl- that close. So, who did say it was one way? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I like that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe just like I said, maybe it's just my point of view, and maybe it's a little, it's a little bias. My opinion is a little biased. I just, but... I just don't see that. Like the I don't know. Whereas Riku and Haru, like even though like Riku like tries to play it off, like I think he still he he does like enjoy her company and like so it, it feels more two way with Riku and Haru. Where it I mean, just felt I don't more know about that way. either. Like me, like sure, maybe Haru is growing a Riku, but I'm still getting that vibe that he's like she's just a bother. But then she's always like she's very aggressive, right? She's always coming over. She's always bothering the guy. And then he's just a nice guy that doesn't want to really like tell her to go away. So maybe that's why he just lets her hang out around her. But I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm not saying that. Yeah, like Minato isn't stiff, or he's not doing a, a great job at trying to communicate and have a better relationship with uh, Haru. But well, like I said, I feel like it's probably the same. Like it, it's, it's easily comparable. I don't think there's any difference to that really. Mm-hmm. I disagree, and, like, so. and, and like I said, I don't think Riku really cared much for Haru, other than the fact that she's a young girl and that she's always bothering him. And then, like throughout time, uh, like she, he just grew attached to her, but like he still doesn't see her anything more than like just well, like a was, friend. He was bothered by her walking with Minato, so like it. I mean, that's with every guy, right? Like, man, that's yeah. mine. Like that, that should be mine. That should be mine. Oh like, God. well, that's just being <laughs> that's just being a little bitch then. That, like, he, that's that's for sure. no, but that's who he is. That's how Riku is. He's not like he has. He still has a very immature mindset. He doesn't know what he wants. He's just living day to day and trying to get by and yeah, well, trying to figure out what he wants. In his that's life. what he really. And, that, that just really lowers like my 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 impression of I mean, him. I know, right? No, he's in. He's a college grad. He's like twenty four ish now. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. But even then, like I said, like from the very beginning, you 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 already know what his. He's kind of like a neat in a sense, or like a, like a shut in. So he doesn't really have much. Uh, like I don't think his mentality is as mature as you you would think it is. I th- I feel like you're just giving him more more credit than than he deserves. To be honest, maybe just because he's an MC. <laughs> I really was not that way. Like that was just really lower my impressions of him. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, maybe I'm just throwing out my opinions that are a little bit too biased, but that's that's how I feel, you know? Like, out of all the characters, I really like Haru, but, like, for all the male characters, like, Minato is easily the number one guy oh right I, now for see, me. See, that's the one that I can't... So I'll agree that, like, maybe I am giving too much credit to Riku, but I can't, like, see Minato as, like... I can't put him up higher. Like, I... Like... Yeah, I mean, he's gone anyway, so it doesn't he's matter gone, anymore. Yeah, so... <laughs> 
like I, Rip, can't, I, I can't like put him up higher but like yeah all all this up to date is just really like made me feel more empathy for haru like yeah yeah no i i, I totally get that so. yeah and uh but yeah i mean that, that, that was me that, i was, was kind of hoping to like like that like if he did join the cast like hopefully he can like replace um, real because I still don't really give out real like even after last yeah, episode he, focus like he's a little he's a little bitch it's, it's hard it's just <laughs> hard just because like it, I mean I, I do I do sympathize that like that he he shouldn't feel like he's living in his brother's shadow but like it's just it's hard like when like the characters are so much like you're rooting for Haru because like because just because of like the character growth she has and like and then and then um like you know you have like all the other characters are older, so it's just hard to root for this immature, like, high school kid that's like, just butting in. So. Uh, yeah, I suppose. So, that's, I guess that's all I have for Sing Yesterday for me. Is there anything else you want to end with? Uh, Rip Minato, he deserves better. That's all I got. Rip Naruto's dad. Pouring out for my homie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, that's, that's, the end of this week's podcast way shorter than last week because we didn't have to spend all that time doing the recaps because I didn't fuck up okay (laughs) we didn't have to spend all the time because I fucked up so hopefully I didn't fuck up this week and we actually get get no I already already listened to Zakai Studios it was good so I heard everybody's voice but I guess guess like these yeah these five are like the only ones we have for for uh spring such a long such a lonely season. I mean, we're still like an hour and a oh, half, man. so it's still a long, like. Dude, I'm I'm so bored. Time. I bought this other game just to fill in the time, <laughs> uh, well, just because I don't have much time watching. I'm still anymore. trying to finish Final Fantasy VII. That's why I've been streaming like this weekend, and then try to finish this week, and then just do more stuff. I got. And then I got... Can, then we can talk about the the game afterwards too. Yeah. Yes, yes, I would yeah. love to do that. I'm, tra- I'm trying to finish seven that. this week because I got summer. Bye. Am I am I late? No. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Fuck you. We're almost done. So yeah, we're wrapping it up, <laughs> dude. Legit, when Brian said bye, I started waving. Like, oh, no, I saw that too. <laughs> I'm just auto. I just automatic. Right. It's just I like, think I think we're like, good. That's a good like ending point. So yeah, we're yeah okay, fine. Yeah. We don't we want <laughs> just basically just, just this random part that I can always it, just put in just random it, anime talks like it's, do. Do it's self explanatory. <laughs> you don't need to drag it out, Trend. But this is a fun part. <laughs> no, it's fine. I was right, right, out. You guys were right, talking about like, a game, <laughs> and I was like, oh, it must have ended. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> no. No, basically, uh, we're just talking about how like no, we're gonna. So have to, we're, we are going to get a group together for FF seven. So look out for it. Okay. Yeah. So also, the person I went at was a bot. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! So that's gonna be it for this week's episode. Want to thank the want to thank the listeners for making it this far. Even the bots. Thanks, bots. Yeah. yeah, thanks, bots. Thanks for making me wave. Make it look like oh, like, oh God, we're showing it. We're uh, we're we're uh, we're entertaining people. Want well, to thank the panel for joining me today. Thank you for all your insights, Trin. Bots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's going to be it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 Real this time. Bye. This kid's oh. failing like six classes somehow. Uh, whoa. Okay. Whoa. What grade is he in? Crazy. <laughs> 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 He's an eighth. I asked what grade is he in not to imitate the sound of a tea kettle before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>